Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stellaris. Um, as of now, recording this episode, the new update is out, and with it, the new DLC. I have not purchased the new DLC yet. I want to complete this series with all the same DLCs we started with. I don't even know if you can add one in mid-game, but at this point, we're just going to finish the series as it is. Um, and if we ever do another Stellaris uh, series in the future, which I think is highly likely, given that um, you know I really love this game and this has been... Um, one of my favorite experiences recording this series. Um, so I think we'll definitely record another one in the future and we can check out the new DLC then. Um, but yeah, for the time being, uh, we're going to keep it as is. Um, I had to do a little bit of messing around with my mods to make sure that they all stay compatible. Um, but we should be good and if we notice any kind of bugs or anything, then it's probably because those mods haven't had a chance to be all updated yet um, to be compatible with the new update. But hopefully those updates will come in soon enough and hopefully we won't even um, notice notice any bugs at all in the first place um right so where are we it's 2402 and actually i took a moment to look up on the wiki when the end game crisis is supposed to happen i thought it was going to happen at 2400 and then nothing happened the wiki says that it's 25 years after the end game start date um is when it starts to have a chance and it has a chance to spawn every five years starting in 2425 so we've got 25 more years in the time being i think we unlocked the ability to activate the L gates. Why don't we do that? I could continue on with these proton launchers. That'll take 30 months and then I can activate the L gates. Why don't we, that's what we're going to spend our episode doing. Okay. We're going to finish proton launchers. Then we're going to activate the L gates. Um, we don't need an L gate insight. So we don't need this engineering research anymore. So why don't we instead research, we could increase our metallurgist output. I think we should. We need more alloys. Um, to start off our episode, before I'm pausing the game, um, we should probably go and put alloy foundries in all of our worlds. Um, somebody pointed out in the comments that since I'm struggling so much with alloys, there's no reason why I shouldn't just put an alloy foundry on every world. If it has a spare building slot at least, it's totally worth it. So let's go ahead and do that. Alloy foundries for all. Oh, every alloy, ugh, alloy foundries for everybody. Um, we'll go ahead and replace this one with an alloy foundry, and then we'll build um, more science research labs. Gruner Prime um, doesn't look like we have the building slots, but we soon will. So once we have that building slot, we can build an alloy foundry there. Um, this world. I think we're going to leave this world as is. I don't really want to give up any of these building slots to put an alloy foundry on this world. This one, though, I can happily put a new alloy foundry. This is a uh, research world, but we can just build a new science lab down here. Um, if you're wondering why I'm replacing the already built research lab with an alloy foundry, and just spending unnecessary minerals, it's because I have more minerals than I know what to do with anyways, and I just like to keep it neat all of our non-specialized stuff here and then most of our specialized stuff here at the bottom. Um, Forge World should already have Alloy Mega Forges. It does. Joy Tendir. All right. One Alloy Foundry's coming right up. And Forfion. One Alloy Foundry's coming right up. All right, fantastic. Um, how are we doing otherwise? I think we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and unpause the game. Um, Democratic ruler election looks like our commissary general is going to be reelected. All right. Our commissary general has been reelected. So let's go ahead and let's go to all our star fleets. Fully upgraded, fully upgraded. Fully upgraded. No, this one is not fully upgraded. It says 10 of 14 cruisers. We need to get more cruisers. Minimar Specialized Industries is more militaristic. Interesting. Well, with all those incursions, those failed incursions, I should say, into our territory, that's not surprising to me. Um, we can bump this up to fast speed probably for the remainder of the episode. And we should just use all of our energy credits to buy more alloys to upgrade our fleets. Okay, hopefully this can help us afford 2,500. We're gonna go ahead and reinforce this fleet. Fantastic. So, um, I believe 
we can get a new council agenda as well. Let's see what we can get. Monthly unity. No, let's get specialist pop resource output bonus. Yes. Um, I believe we are researching citadels. No, we are not. Did we already research citadels? We did. So we should be able to upgrade citadels. And I think the first ones we're going to upgrade are the Zorakan and XT81 singularity systems. Um, the reason is... These are where the L gates are at, Research and um, when we open the L gates, we want to make sure those are very well defended. We're going to move our fleets over there too. Um, we can probably get food processing facilities. Yeah, why not? Always good to have more food in the Empire. Um, so once we have our fleets fully upgraded, all of them are at full strength, let's go ahead and upgrade these to citadels as well. Oh, I need another 963 to upgrade this. Okay. We can continue selling off all of these unneeded resources. Flooding the market to, you know, decrease the price of all of these for everyone else. Too much supply. We need another... Okay, we can buy 2,500 more alloys. And with all these new alloys... Corim needs more jobs. We'll actually let these people relocate to other planets. I don't need the jobs to be right here on Corim. Yeah. I don't. Um, we're going to let those people migrate. Sorry, who are you again? We won't pay. Bring it on. Space Deck collectors are back. Attack. What's new? These guys are a joke. Research complete. Um, this is upgrading. We want to upgrade this to a citadel as well. Not today. Excellent. We increased our metallurgist output. So hopefully, oh yes, plus 184. That is much better than what we had before. Um, Starbase building costs and module costs. That is so insignificant, it's not even worth it. Mining station output, not really necessary. Orbital ring is tempting. We could increase our Corvette hull points or we can get advanced railguns. I say we start getting some of these advanced weapons because these are gateway technologies into um, more powerful large tier weapons that we can put on our battleships in the future. Um, our head of research can probably get the counselor effect of plus five research speed for the Empire. That's going to be good. Um, and yeah, with our fleets now all at full strength, looks like we have some upgrading to do. How much is it going to cost to upgrade one of our fleets? 4,500. Wow. Wow, that is a lot of upgrades. Death of a great leader. Our official, Sari Deden, has passed away at the age of 110. We'll keep the, the funeral traditional. All right, so who was this? This was our Tribune of Rights? Okay, we need a new Tribune of Rights. And was that, who was that governing? I was probably our governor of Desadia, huh? I think we had a governor on Desadia. So let's go ahead and assign a new governor. We'll go ahead and hire leader experience gain. Honestly, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Trade value is nice. We'll go ahead and get this this official with a bonus to trade value. Um, by our L gates, we're probably also going to want to get a couple of science ships. So let's go ahead and move some science ships over towards the L gates. I don't know if it's going to be Zorkan or XT81 Singularity. So we're going to get two science ships. Uh, we're going to want two science ships anyways, because we're going to need those science ships. Um, we're going to hire the scientists for them as well. We're going to need those science ships to survey the L cluster wherever it appears. Um, the L cluster, for those of you who haven't played Stellaris, is like an extra... It's a small cluster of stars, but it's like somewhere on the fringes of the galaxy. Um, so, when it appears, we'll have science ships there to survey. We'll hopefully be able to hire on some scientists with survey capabilities let's see what our recruitable leaders look like um none of these are survey speed survey speed and anomaly research speed wow this person's really good 38 year old scientist yes please and we can get an additional 10 percent survey speed all right fantastic um we're gonna move this person into the xt81 singularity system this person we need to hire a new scientist here as well. Again, we can get this great survey and anomaly research speed bonus. Archaeologist, we probably don't need that. Leader experience gain, sure, we'll take that. 
I don't know if there are new archaeological sites in the Elk Cluster. I honestly can't remember. I think I've only played the Elk Cluster once or twice in the playthrough. Research complete. Um, research complete. All right, we got proton launchers. So next up, um, I mean, all of these look really good, but especially activate the Elk Gate. 60 months, we're going to activate the Elk Gate. So we need to be ready in 60 months. Okay. Zorakan Black Hole is a Citadel already? Yes, it's upgrading to a Citadel. Is this one upgrading to a Citadel as well? Okay, they are both upgrading to a Citadel. Um, the rest thing we want to spend the rest of our alloys on is upgrading our fleets. So, experimental research. News has it researched from the state of Panaxala. They have allegedly begun serious experimentation on their own species, often with disastrous results. Though the local emissary is not explicitly calling for us to intervene, it is most certainly implied in their communications. Uh, they're gonna hate us, but don't they already kind of hate us? Weren't they pretty disloyal? Now, do we really want to risk upsetting the state of Panic Sala? I mean, they're experimenting on their own species and they are technically like a state of the Republic. So we do have authority. Let's shut it down. That doesn't seem okay. They might really hate us for this. And I honestly don't know what the consequences are. What would happen if we just let them do it? And what would happen if what's going to happen if we don't? Um, I guess it remains to be seen. Uh, we need to go ahead and take our fleets and let's uh, upgrade one of them. We have enough alloys to upgrade the one, this uh, fleet first. Um, we have other fleets as well. Leviathan defeated has vanquished in the Darhesh uh, Citizen Alliance. Okay. Let's move two fleets into the XT81 Singularity system. Um, actually, let's keep these fleets here so we can upgrade them. Once we upgrade them, then we'll move them into the XT81 Singularity system. We're going to want to keep an eye on this. 54 months. This is a timer. By the time those 54 months are up, we need to be all of our fleets in position. And we need to be ready. Um, looks like our science ships are in position. Let's actually move our science ships to neighboring systems in case something dangerous comes out so we can retreat our scientists away if need be. Um, yeah, we'll move our science ship here. Um, we could probably get a construction ship over there to start building some star bases and claiming systems as well. Um, yeah, let's move, let's move our construction ship over into the farm system. Who's declaring war? Malon Accentualized Commonalities wishes to declare war against the Dar Hesh Citizen Alliance, and they want us to be involved. Why do they want us to be involved? Why do we have a vote? That's not our war. We don't owe you anything. Last I checked, we're not allies, right? We're not. We're not allies. I don't know why they have the option to invite us to this war. And why they why they think we would join them. We're not even friends. Maybe it's because they think we dislike the Darhesh Citizen Alliance, but the truth is we're getting ready to open the L gates and I really don't want to be in the middle of a war when that happens. Um, we can get new um, society research. Diplomatic weight plus 10% is probably good. Ancient shield over charger. What does this do? Shield hit points, shield hardening, defense platform modifier. Interesting. Is this a component? No, it's a starbase building. Let's get this. This will be good for our starbases. This will be really good. Um, okay. Once I get enough alloys. Um, we can go ahead and upgrade one of these other fleets. I'm going to prioritize upgrading these two fleets that we need to move Ships over. Upgraded. Um, this is going to cost us a lot of alloys, but the price is coming right down. Okay, there we go. Research complete. So let's go ahead and upgrade this fleet. We have all the alloys we need, and then we'll move it over. And then we're going to upgrade this fleet. And lastly, we'll upgrade the fleet by Corolla. Um, which of the fleets is already upgraded? We unlocked advanced rail guns. Fantastic. We can get level five armor or we can get quantum missiles. Um, let's get level five armor. So 
So which of these eight ships can be upgraded? Our cruisers. So did any of our cruisers act? They must have been upgradable because we just unlocked that new railgun technology. Yeah, it's these ones. Okay, we can go ahead and upgrade our eight cruisers. Yeah, it's just gonna cost us twenty-seven. We'll do that. Ships upgraded. Okay, so we'll send our fully upgraded fleet ready into the Zorakan black hole system. Once this fleet is fully upgraded. We'll go ahead and move it into the XT81 Construction Singularity. Complete. Construction complete. We've got citadels here. Looks like we can build another building. Is there anything defensive we can build here? No. None of these are going to help us be more defensive. So actually, I'm going to save this building slot for this new technology. It says it's a star base building, right? So this will increase our shield hit points and shield hardening on our star bases. Sounds good to me. Okay. This is um, getting up there and upgraded. We can probably go ahead and upgrade these ships as well, but we don't have enough alloys for that. It's okay, we're building up the alloys. It's a good thing at the beginning of the episode, we built all those alloy foundries. Um, speaking of all those new alloy foundries, we can build one on Gruner Prime now. How much is this going to cost? 6,000, 7,000. Okay. This is fully upgraded. So we're going to move this into the XT81 singularity system. What is our timer? We're down to 34 months. Okay. The timer is counting down. In fact, it might be worth to choose the take point option. This is going to encourage allies allied fleets to follow us. Okay, we will definitely take that option when it comes available. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission migration treaty from the Sandrine United Planet States. No thank you. I would like to purchase more alloys, please. It's gonna cost us 11,000. 11,000 more energy, I should say. Death of a great leader. A great official, Sari Baskorak, has passed away at the age of 114. Okay, we're going to plan a grand parade. A distinguished for farewell. Okay, this is an official. Uh, we can level up one of our commanders. Um, we can probably give daily hull regen and armor regen. Or trickster. Let's get hole and armor regen that's super good that means we're not gonna have to repair at um star bases as much i don't actually know if that's a high amount of regen or not but regardless every little bit helps can i buy my alloys yet nope but i can continue selling more of this stuff i'm still lacking a significant number of um, energy credits. We're down to only plus 149 energy credits. This is concerning. I do need to build more energy districts on my world. Any worlds with extra districts, we need to prioritize energy districts, generator districts. Um, this world has spare districts. Let's build some generator districts here. We were specializing this one on food, but I think we're good on food. Why don't we build a couple energy districts here? Research I knew we were going to be short on energy in the long run. All right, we've got this new um, star base building. So we're going to go ahead and build that. But let's see what options we can get now. Um, chemical bliss. What is this? Living standard? We could check that out. I don't know if that's a good living standard or not, but let's see what it does. 18 months? That's not, a, that's not a huge price to pay for it. Okay, that price of alloys keeps going up. And what is our countdown? 19 months. Okay. We better be ready. I really want to get this upgraded before. We can start the upgrade process now. And I'd like to... Darhash Citizens Alliance is more xenophilic, okay? 
It means they'll play nicer with us. Okay, we'll go ahead and finish upgrading this fleet as well. So hopefully when this is fully upgraded, we can rush it over and then any extra alloys we have, we can spend on this fleet, which for some reason has no commander. Was that our leader who died? I wasn't even paying attention. It might've been our leader who just died. Um, let's see what our options are. We get ship fire rate plus 5%. That's probably the best option. Fire rate's just like straight damage output. Enlister, no. Environmental engineer, no. Aggressiveness, level three, yes. Engineer, that's good. We can get the Admiral trait. Um, level up again. We can get strike craft damage. Yes. All right. How are we doing on these upgrades? We're 56% upgraded. Oh, in our new star bases, we need to build our last building is going to be this ancient shield overcharger. Yes. This is gonna cost us exotic gases, but it's gonna be totally worth it. Okay, I think we can spend any extra alloys we need to upgrade this fleet. I could have probably built some defense, some defensive stations at these, um, sorry, defense upgraded. platforms, I should say, at these uh, black hole stations with the L gates, but I just don't think we have the alloys to spare right now. Um, this is fully upgraded. Let's move it into the XC81 Singularity system. I don't know which which one we're gonna be able to open or if we're gonna be able to open both of them. I'm almost tempted to get my recovered asset in there, but it's really not gonna make much of a difference. It's only 18,000. 18,000 is really not much. Our star bases are more than 18,000 now. Yeah, what is that Citadel worth? The Citadel worth these days is now 65,000. There's a lot from one star base. That's totally worth. Advanced bioreactors. This increases our energy output from farmers even more, and it also produces exotic gases from farmers. Let's start getting this. We have all this food we don't know what to do with. We might start producing some energy from, uh, we might start producing some energy from these farmers. All right, we can get probably trade focus. All right, what's our countdown to? One month remaining. Okay, are we ready? What's gonna happen in one month? Opening the L cluster. Our scientists are now confident that our knowledge of the L gates and their technology behind them is sufficient to abort their maintenance cycle. If the attempt is successful, the L gates in the XT81 singularity system should allow immediate access into the distant L cluster. Um, as the maintenance cycle ends, any additional L gates in the galaxy will also likely become operational within a matter of years as their self-correcting software readjusts. Still, this will give us a significant head, store, head start to explore the cluster without interference. Issues a special project. Oh, I thought they were just immediately open. Um, has one science ship in orbit. Scientist is present. Okay, so we actually need to send one of our science ships in. It's in the XC81 singularity system. Okay, so this is probably where they're gonna come out of. Just in case though, I'm gonna hold my fleets back here. We're gonna have fleets in both systems. You can never be too careful. Construction complete. We wanna keep buying new alloys because our upgrades have slowed down because we don't have enough alloys. New physics research. We can get neutron launchers level two. Shield capacitors, boring. Wormhole travel, boring. Research station output, that's gonna be so insignificant. Most of our research is not coming from research stations. I mean, come on. All right. And once we upgrade these fleets, then I think we're gonna upgrade our next line of defense, when the endgame crisis comes, where are our border systems that we need to defend? We can defend the state of Panexala, at least from one one border point here at the Durella system. Unfortunately, I don't really have an outpost to defend the state of Mythfell, so we're just gonna have to pull back and defend Sismok. 
and then we will also defend Waltham. So those three are going to be upgraded to citadels at, at our next priority. All right. Fantastic. How is this special project coming along? Oh, it's in this system. 97, 98, 99. All right. What happened? The Grey Tempest. Our technicians managed to lift the lockdown from the L gate near the XC81 Singularity, but as soon as a permanent link was established to the L cluster, a massive incoming subspace surge was detected. We were able to restrict this potential invasion force from, our, from using our gate, while still retaining access for ourselves. Unfortunately, the incoming surge was diverted to the other L gates in the galaxy. Strange vessels consisting of nanites are pouring through these now fully active gates, attacking everything in sight. All attempts to communicate with these machines have failed. In the wake of their passage through the L gates, we have detected a repeating subspace transmission emanating from the L cluster. All right. So we've unleashed something on the galaxy. Strange vessels consisting of nanites pouring through these now active gates. Okay. Nanites must be like nano machines or nanotechnology. I think we... Okay, let's see if we can learn more about this. Oh, they just turned on the timer. Uh, decoding, repeating automated subspace transmission, establishing translation matrix, alert message is heavily corrupted, attempting reconstitution of message fragments. Three message fragments have been partially recovered. All right, so let's see what information we can get about these nanite fleets that are coming out of the gates. We are unintelligible. Architects of the Galactic Gateway Network. If you are receiving this transmission, then we can only probably hope that we are not too late. Perhaps one of our message boys somehow slipped past the something and escaped the cluster before it was closed off. Do not, repeat, do not restore access to the dormant gateway in our star cluster. Under no circumstances must a stable connection be formed between the something and the galaxy at large. Well, too late. We just did that. We just unleashed something and they told us under no circumstances should we reestablish these, this connection. Uh-oh. For the sake of all civilization, our cluster has to remain under permanent quarantine. Guys, I think we messed up. I think we messed up. Fragment two. In an act that will inevitably doom our civilization, we have deliberately isolated our home cluster to prevent the spread of the Nar Dishav, the Grey Tempest. So that's what they're calling this threat, these nanites, the Grey Tempest. These self-replicating uh, nanomachines were instrumental in the construction of our gateway network, but when their something had concluded, probably when their mission had concluded, we found that they would no longer accept our commands. They went rogue, huh? Through a hidden back door, our probably scientists managed to recall the machines to our home cluster, but this security hole has since been plugged. When they started harvesting our planets for materials, we knew it was only a matter of time before, probably before the end of their civilization. The main, probably, production facility or the main science facility or, I don't know. The main facility is the key. All of their communications are rooted through its subspace way. Without it, they cannot function. Okay, so they're telling us that if we want to stop them, we need to go to this main facility. Um, unfortunately, all of our attempts to disable it have failed and we can no longer muster the forces to launch another assault. If the quarantine of our cluster has failed, you must destroy this facility. As long as it remains active, the Great Tempest will continue to surge unabated throughout the galaxy. We are truly unsorry for unleashing this horror. In our, this horror. In our hubris, we... Okay. So they created this monster and now we have to deal with it. And now supposedly... Oh my gosh, 102,000? That's big. Okay. Well, I guess we knew this was coming. We can hop through the Elgate cluster. I don't think I want to hop into the Elgate cluster just yet. They said this gateway is going to remain inactive. So I think I want to go the long way. So I think I want to go into... Zandabon, then Corolla. Okay, we want to reinforce the slow way because I don't know what's waiting for us in the L cluster, but I want to leave this gateway dis deactivated for the time being. See if we can go in this way. Um, this fleet, whether or not it's done upgrading, needs to go and reinforce. Um, and let's let's see what we're dealing with. 
We're going to put it on slow speed so we can see this combat. Um, and let's look at what came out of the L gate. Interesting. If this were not a black hole system, it would probably be easier to see because there would be some starlight to shine. Um, but it looks like there's one Titan and three cruisers, or one mothership and three interdictors. This must be the mothership, and these must be the interdictors. One, two, and there's probably a third one hiding somewhere. Okay, interesting. This is what we're up against. Ready? We're going to unpause and we're going to watch this battle unfold. Space -born life -form encountered. So what are they coming at us with? Looks like they have lots of lasers. It's hard to tell what direction all of these weapons are firing in. Space -born life -form encountered. Did we just defeat them? All right. No, they just retreated. We didn't we didn't actually destroy anything. They sure did destroy a lot of our our fleet. But we didn't even destroy a single one of their ships. All right. That is disappointing. Well then, we are going to probably repair. We're going to reinforce the fleet. Um I could use some more alloys. Is the rest of the galaxy going to hate me for unleashing this on us? They probably are. And when we're ready, we're going to go through the portal. I think we want to reinforce our fleet a little bit before we do that. Reinforce. This needs to go into Zandaban, Xeris, Zorakan. Okay. We're going to... Rendezvous all of our fleets together. Uh oh. The Great Tempest is at the Farinous Black Hole system and we're not there to defend it. I didn't think about Elgates in our allies' territory as well. I completely forgotten about this Elgate. Oh boy. Chances are they're going to come for Federation's End and then come for Sysmok, and is there anything I can do? We're going to have to move one of our three fleets over this way. There's no two ways around it. There's no two ways about it, I mean. No, so we're going to have to go here. Then we're going to have to make it into... Probably the Yamathur system, and then into Sysmok at least. Okay, so we'll make it to... Okay, we want to make it here. Yamathur, Sysmark. Okay, so we're going to pull one of our four fleets to defend the Sysmark system. Hopefully that should be enough. I don't know if we can take on the full 124,000, but we'll do what we need to. All of this right before the endgame crisis. Maybe I shouldn't have opened up the L-Gate. I mean, it was bound to happen if we didn't do it. One of the other empires would have. Um, it would have happened all the same. Whatever I, whatever helps me sleep at night. Okay, hopefully they're repairing. And I really badly need to um, upgrade. Or not upgrade, I need to reinforce my fleet. But I don't have things to sell. I guess I could sell all these volatile moats and exotic gases that we've saved up. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we needed to do. Okay, so with all of this, we can go ahead and we can reinforce fleet for the full 2,500. I don't actually know if even that's going to be enough, but at least it's going to be a start. Okay, are all of our fleets fully upgraded? Are all three in the system here? No, we're going to wait for the Zandabon fleet to catch up. Um, we could probably move off of slow Space speed back to normal speed. Counted. I'm not going to move it up to fast speed while we're dealing with this threat right now. Um, looks like they moved out of the Farinous Black Hole system, and they're going the other way. That's not good for the state of Mythfell, but it is good for us. That's going to give us time to get our reinforcements there. Uh-oh. Looks like they're just eating a hole into the territory of state of Mythfell. Poor state of Mythfell. 
I regret doing this to you. I bitterly Research regret doing complete. this to you. This is really not good. Advanced bioreactors. What is ancient ramp rampart? This is another starbase module. This increases armor hardening, armor hit points, armor hold points. So is this an Archaeotech? Like, do we get a bonus from this? It says ancient. It probably is. This is probably something worth putting on our star bases as well. Um, okay. So they're coming over this way. I don't know what to do about it. But we're just going to have to deal with it. Hopefully our reinforcements can get there quick. Luckily we have all of these um, jump, jump gates installed. Okay, once this fleet comes... We need 73 more? Okay, I just need to continue buying... Continue buying more... Um, more alloys. Alloys are probably in such high demand right now. 1368. That's a lot of alloys. That's, that's probably for one of our battleships that we lost. All right. We have all three fleets here. We have all three fleets here. Let's go. Where's the L cluster? It's here. Let's go and see what's waiting for us on the other side. Hopefully nothing too, too nasty. Okay, so this fleet is 156,000. We can probably take on 117,000. Though it's gonna be a close one. We are gonna take a lot of casualties, but I think we need to stop them in their tracks before they completely destroy the state of Mythfell. Um, we gotta defend our vassals. Because we're not really treating them like vassals in this game. We're treating them like states. They are part of the Republic. They are sovereign territory. Did we enter? Terminal egress. We did. 117,000, 117,000. All waiting for us. Okay. Wow. All three of these fleets combined, it's still going to be a close fight. I don't know if we were ready for this. I really don't know if we were ready for this. The Yarrow Reachers awaken their psionic abilities. Okay, so they're fully fledged psionics now. Council, a general oh, ready. I really wish we had more alloys incoming. Reinforcing our fleet is going to be a nightmare now. Um, can we take anything military focused? Military buildup. Ship build speed and... Not ship build cost though. Shipbuild speed is still good, but it's not as good as I would like. Anything that improves our output? Not really. Citizen pop happiness would like indirectly increase our output, but I don't know how much. All right, let's get the shipbuild speed with military build up. Speed is good, even if we can't reduce the cost. Okay, um, what's happening over here? Can we catch up with them? Kongath. Looks like they're heading into the Akapolaron system. And in Terminal Egress, did we win this combat? Oh my gosh, the casualties. These casualties are just astoundingly high. Okay. Um, we need to rest and repair. So, let's go ahead and let's get one of our... Let's get our science ships in to quickly survey the system. Okay, we have two science ships, and they're both going to survey the system. And then after they're done surveying the system, they can research the battle debris. Um, meanwhile, one at a time, one at a time, we're going to repair. And these are going to go repair at the XT81 Singularity system. Okay, here it goes, guys. Okay, 
We're meeting them in battle. 142 versus 117. We can see our focus arc emitters in action. That's spectacular, isn't it? You know, this is more evenly matched than I would have liked it to be. Oh boy. Okay, I think we're gonna have, we stopped them in their tracks here. Okay, that's good. Mythfell order needs to uh, repair and reclaim their territory. Um, which of our star fleets is repairing? Um, which of our star fleets is repairing and is it fully repaired? It's gonna be weird hopping back and forth. I need to get used to this. Okay, this star be this star base is full. This star fleet is fully repaired. Let's send the other two to repair as well. We're taking turns just to make sure we always have someone in the system defending our science ships. Um, we need to move our construction ship in as well, and it possibly is worth getting another construction ship um, so we really can stake our claims here. Yes, I think we're going to do that. We're going to go to our Corolla system, we're going to go to our shipyard, and we're going to build another construction ship. Pains me to spend another 1,000 alloys on this, but we have to do what we have to do. Okay. With our one fleet left in here, let's go ahead and give it the reinforced fleet order. We're going to spend whatever alloys we can to reinforce the fleet. This fleet needs to go rest and repair. We're going to repair in the Sysmok system. And then we're going to go back into the Fairness Black Hole system and we're going to join up with the rest of our forces in Terminal Egress. Once we control Terminal Egress, we'll basically have stopped the advance of the... Um, stopped the advance of the Nanites into the galaxy proper. And then we're just going to have to fight them here, which is going to be a lot more manageable. Okay, our science ships are all good to go with their surveys. Is this fleet fully um, repaired? No. Okay, this is repairing now. This fleet should be fully repaired. Uh-oh, we're back in, we're back in action. 117,000. All right, these two fleets need to quickly hop into the t terminal egress system to defend. Okay, here we go. We have our next Hostile two fleets. Fleet engaged. 117,000. How many of these fleets at 117,000 can they afford? Oh my gosh, it's like non-stop. We have to fight them on favorable terms. Like with all four of our fleets present if possible. Okay, there we go. Again, we're going to have to go and repair, rest and repair. But this is this is what we signed up for. We knew what we were getting into when we opened it. This is not my first L cluster. Okay, we're gonna go into the terminal egress system and then we're going to take turns two at a time. Let's go ahead and repair these two or we're gonna keep two in the terminal egress system. What happened to our science ships? They both retreated back into here. Let's go ahead and let's survey the system again. Back into terminal egress, you two. Construction ship, you too. Back into terminal egress. It's good they got out of harm's way, but we need to make sure we survey it before anyone else does. All right. Anomaly found. The orb. We have discovered a powerful concentrated energy in the form of an orb. Investigation is advised. Short, 93 days. Powerful energy in the form of an orb, huh? So these are our two repairing star fleets. Let's go ahead and move them back into terminal egress. And then this one needs its turn to repair. Okay, any, any other resources we can spend? We will spend for more alloys. More alloys, alloys, alloys. Those are the name of the game. Any rare resources we can sell? I mean, yeah, we'll do whatever we need. 
for more alloys. We need those. Okay, which of our fleets is weakest? Whatever fleet is weakest, that's going to be our priority to re to replenish first. We don't want any weak links. Evading hostile fleet. All right, they're back for more. Another 117,000. How often are they are they just generating these fleets like non-stop? Okay, our science ships are going to run away again. This science ship is Hostile not running away. Engaged. Here we go. Where's our uh, where's our repairing fleet and is it fully repaired? It's getting there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and move that back into the system so we should have all four for the next fight. 3 on 1 we can just about take him. Though with every one of these battles, we ha we take more casualties. Yeah, we are just taking a lot of casualties. And they are not. We're only destroying like maybe one or two of their ships. This is bad. This is really bad. Um, one of our commanders we can upgrade. Small weapon slot fire rate. We don't have a lot of small weapons. Our KO tech weapon damage and fire rate. Yes, please. All right, back to terminal egress again. Oh my gosh, they're not giving us a break. I think we might have um, bitten off more than we can chew. Um, where are our allies? Maybe I need to choose the take point option so that I can encourage our allies to follow us. Okay, they keep retreating and we keep not being able to destroy many of them. We just destroyed one interdictor again and they destroyed far more of our ships than we did of theirs. Okay, two at a time. You two repair, you two stay behind. Alright. Science ships, I need you back. I need you back. Survey the system. Um, and then the other two that are not staying behind, we're going to go ahead and take point. Encourage allied fleets to follow. Take point. Take point. Take point. Okay, so hopefully we can get some Panic Sala and Mythfell fleets in to help us with this defense. I don't know why I wasn't doing that from the get-go. Um, this episode is also running long. Sorry, I got a little distracted with how much of a crazy threat we're dealing with so i don't think we're ever going to get a break from these fleets coming to fight us again and again and again so we're going to have to pause the episode here and we're going to call it thank you guys so much for watching um and stay tuned for the next episode i'm at the edge of my seat i i don't know if we can keep up with these constant barrage of attacks but we have no choice we need to secure this system because if we don't secure this system then they're going to be able to pour into our galaxy and we have like three l gates to defend within our empire it's better to defend one place than three places so we have to just continue surveying the system no matter how slowly it takes us in fact we're going to turn our science ships off from evasive to passive and we're going to keep them in this system here just out of the way so hopefully we can continue surveying and build a starbase in here ASAP. Once we build a starbase and we can repair in this system, we should be a lot more um, strong in our position. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.